Okay, you're working on the computer there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And you do it, huh? I can need to the road to Roanoke, Highway 11. There's some beautiful country in Virginia. Nice clear day so far. Cold but clear. Virginia farm country. There's an old silo. That one looks to be made out of cement. I don't think it's being used anymore. Dairy farmer told me they were slaughtering cows all over the country to try to keep the price of milk up. Sort of seems a shame when people like Heifer International are trying to get cows and stuff to poor families. There's quite a few families in this country that could use a cow if they knew what to do with it. There's a great house all falling apart. Old homestead probably at one time. Left to ruin. A lot of the places with character are left to ruin and the countryside gets littered with these crappy looking modern houses. This is what they got the countryside littered with now. I mean, the long-term maintenance on a place like this is going to be astronomical. Just the roof alone. It looks like heck anyway. Now a house like this, to take care of it, lasts forever. Beautiful. It's got some character to it. Can't cost any more to build something like this than to build that stuff back there. It's so darn ugly. As early as 1754, a house was built on this hill, used for a fort. Farthest west, 1750. Oh boy. Near here in 1750, Dr. Thomas Walker, on his first journey southwest, assisted Samuel Stocknaker in building his cabin. At this time, it was the farthest west settlement. Chilhawi. It was a town formed in 1856 but settled in 1748. The name of Chilhawi means home of many deer. Here's a really great piece of architecture, man. Methodist. Yep, wouldn't you know it. Beautiful. This is a great house. It happens to be Bradley's funeral home now, but it's still a great house. And the one next to it. What do you think, huh? Pretty good? I'd say so. <laughs> Yeah, so we're in Chilhawi. Okay, so some guy in the evening, he tells me, it's 7 to 10, it's 7 o'clock tonight. He tells me, hey, you know, I think you probably have it put up in this park by the river. And uh, he says, my brother's the city manager, I'll give him a call. He's driving a brand new pickup truck, you know. So uh, I went back, got the bus. Wasn't ideal because the grass is fairly short, you know. And I got the bus and I come back and uh, 
a couple cops waiting, and they go, uh, yeah, about your horse. And I said, yeah, well, is he going to be a problem here? And they said, no, I'll call the city manager. So the city manager gets all pissed off and comes down and goes, that's not my brother. He goes, and you can't keep your horse here. can't keep your bus here either. So uh, he's pretty rude, you know, like coming off on me like this was downtown Manhattan. And uh, it's a nothing town, you know, except all the churches. So uh, I said, all right, well, some guy told me in your town, I have no idea, you know. If he can't stay here, he can't stay here, and that's fine. But this is my introduction to Chilhawi. So Hampton and I, we're going to go up to the town of Marion, where maybe people aren't quite the jackasses they are here, you know. See you on YouTube. Bill somebody, the city manager's name's probably not worth knowing. Yeah, First Baptist Church, bunch of churches in this town. But the city manager, manager acts like a fucking asshole. You know, big empty park. Lots of places you could put a horse in a small piss-ass town. And he acts like a fucking prick, man, with an overlarge prostate. Well, Chilihoe, or Hokey, or Hucky, or Fucky, or what do you want to call your town? Get a new city manager. They're a bunch of assholes. So we're parked in the McDonald's parking lot in Chill, chill Shit, Howie, Virginia, because it's where the city manager said the only place he'd let us park. He's such a fuckwad. And uh, we're uh, feeding Hampton because he's going to have to go another 10 miles tonight to the town of Marion. But you know, if you shithole little towns want to have any kind of a life or reputation, you better hire somebody who doesn't have their dick in their hand to be your city manager. We have not been treated like this by anybody in the United States. Not a police officer, not a city official ever treated us like the city manager of Chilhawi. So get it straight, guys. So the uh, name of the city manager is Bill Boswell, this dickhead takes it personal that the horse is in this really long park near the creek. I mean, the entire park is covered with shit from geese, you know, about every eight inches. And, uh, so, uh, you know, he comes up and gets really aggravated with me and goes, give me the name of the guy that told you you could put the horse here. It's like, who gives a shit? You know? I'm new to your town, so fuck you. So that's what happens. These little towns, they get corrupt. A couple families running the churches, running the town. Like this cocksucker Bill Boswell, the city manager, comes off on me, you know, like I'm some dog. And uh, <clears throat> that's why people are going with Walmart. McDonald's, heck, we could park in the McDonald's parking lot. It's because these old haired over assholes want to keep running their town till the day they die. Well... Their towns are going to die. We haven't met anybody like Bill Boswell, city official, like him, uh, anywhere on our trip across America. We've met a couple gung-ho cops, you know, who lasted about 30 seconds or whatever, but we didn't meet any government official like him. He's going, give me a name, give me a name. Who told you you could put the horse here? It's like, who fucking cares? It's a beat-up park. The horse ain't going to hurt it. You let the, sh the geese shit all over the whole place. It's covered with geese shit. And uh, be polite and just tell someone they need to move it. And maybe help them find a new spot. That's what I asked you for. Got any suggestions? No, not in our town. Okay, well, fuck you very much. I usually don't use a lot of profanity in these videos. Try not to. But this guy was such an asshole of incredible proportions. He'd come off on somebody like that, visit him to his town, and uh, treat him that way. Uh, I just ne I never met such a pompous prick in my life. And I've met a few. So whoever's going to run against Bill Boswell in this town, whoever can stick it in and break it off in this guy, do it. Because he gives your town a really shitty name. It's a superior mill. Look, it's empty. You mean you got empty businesses in town? 
Oh, I thought you had it all together, being as you're such a prick. Yeah, well, that might explain part of it. That's what they told me in places. Yeah, the people that run the churches run this town. Cops and churches, that's all we got. And the young kids do meth. Well, who the frig went with people like that? That's what's the problem in these towns. People over 50 had it jacked up so bad for so long they think they're running the world. Yeah, so we thought everything's going normally, you know. We don't have any trouble from anybody. I mean, you know, got some gung-ho cops sometimes, but you know, what that? It's like a couple cops in the whole United States. I mean, that's all we, we didn't have any real serious trouble. Just, you know, a little bit overzealous, you know. Get stopped too many times. But, uh, you know, this surpasses all the heap together. All the personalities heap together. I mean, 7 o'clock at night, it's getting ready to rain. Here's a field, totally empty. Nothing in it. They could have told me, yeah, we can find you a field somewhere or somebody with horses to help you out or something. Nothing. Okay? So, uh, that's how, in, it's how creative your city manager is. I wonder if he's got a pretty daughter. Yeah, that would be a throwback bunch of genetics. We don't have anything to do with that. Probably sleeping with him anyway. And what do you know? A super phallic Baptist church. It's sort of funny, you know, like Mount Unpleasant, Texas. The same way, you know. These big, fucking, arrogant Baptist churches. And the towns that have them have some of the biggest assholes on the face of the earth. You know? It's a great correlation, if you ask me. It's like, get rid of the fucking Baptist churches and you might have a civil society. You know, look at this. Look at this shit. You know, you don't even know what happens in your town except you're the cause of it, probably. You know, I bet you that prick is in here on Sunday. He'll probably be in here tomorrow. Fucking handing out candies to the children. Look at that thing, you know? You got this big church and you don't know the first thing about treating someone come through your town. See, the will of God, nothing less, nothing more, nothing else. How about the will of God to get a new city manager? That'd work. So we're walking 10 more miles tonight to Marion, maybe 12. Oh well, we say get as far away from the smell of shit as you can before you go to sleep. And I've had a lot of cities where they said, yeah, put your horse in the park. No problem. It ain't going to hurt nothing. I said, I'll make some mud. I'll clean the poop up in the morning. Oh, don't worry about it. The grass will grow greener. You know? So I wonder, uh, Bill Boswell, are you going to be out there tomorrow with a spoon picking up geese shit? Because it's from one end of that park to the other. You should know something about that. So we already did like 17 miles today. It was a warm day and so I didn't want to walk Hampton any further. I'm not riding them now, I'm just walking, but we're gonna have to do another 10, 12 tonight because of this cunt. So, uh, Bill Boswell. So, uh, not a very nice thing to do to a horse when he's already got his time off. You jack up a man, his wife, his five little kids, and a horse because you can't find somewhere in town where he can put his horse for the night and leave him alone. Well, you'll be in the news plenty. I said to him, well, is there some other place you can recommend where I can put the horse for the night? No, that's what Bill Boswell told me. Not a very creative guy. Jill Howie Middle School. Say it was the Valley of the Deer. Well, the deer and the Indians are gone, but they were so nice to use the Indian name for it. Turn it into a shithole and keep using the Indian name. That's such a nice thing to do. Me too. She says, no one ever treated us like that. Go shining their flashlight in the bus. Shining in your face. No one ever treated us like that. This is her first taste of America. 
we often talk about corruption with cops and officials in Thailand. But you know, it's everywhere. Give somebody a little piss cup full of power and they look what they do. Now this is First Church of God. All these churches. Oh, isn't that cute? They got an Indian on the Chilhawi Elementary School. Little warriors. Oh, that's so cute. They love the Indians so much. Uh, this is for you, Bill Bos Boswell. We are making a special video for you. We had such a great time in your village of Chilhawi. You're such a great city manager. And uh, we dedicate this video and a web page on aka.org. You, it'll stay up pretty much forever. And we hope you can use it effectively in your application for a new job. Okay? You'll always be able to find something about you in video and documents on the internet from now on. Thanks to your wonderful performance on a Saturday night in uh, the town of Chilhawi, Virginia.